Welcome to Good Mythical More. We live in a world full of tote bags. I mean, everybody's wanting to give you something to, 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 to tote, tote stuff in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, well, if we put cute, and fantastical stuff on the outside of our tote bags, then you'll use our tote bags, not somebody else's tote bags. Yeah, the tote bag's a good thing. You're talking like some of my employees at Rhett's Meat Market in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Well, you know, why, does like Rhett, why does Rhett want us all to... Why does he get so worked up about these tote bags? I tell him... I, when I tell him, I'm like, don't, no, 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 don't, don't put up a sign. It's just our little secret. My meat market is our, it's our little secret. Don't put up a sign. I don't want people going there and taking pictures with it, making wheel videos. I don't want that. And they're like, but what, what's the purpose? Why are we here? I'm like, it's our little secret. Why do you care so much about the tote bags, man? Random disturbing fact. Being buried alive accidentally occurred so often that people invented safety coffins. I've heard about this. Is every so coffin a safety coffin? Well, there's uh, a little bell, raisable flag, Common in 17th century England, Alice Blunden is an example. A doctor mistakenly pronounced her dead after she drank sedatives, accidentally buried alive. Guess they did it quickly. This horrifying order didn't happen once, but twice. After exhuming her and finding her near death, they buried her once more only for her to struggle in the casket, still alive until she eventually succumbed to death. <laughs> Many designs include ropes, which when pulled would ring the church bell or a purpose-mounted That's overkill. Bell. Others replaced the bell, oh, like connected all the way to, to the, the church. church bell? Yeah, that's a bell. What's this rope? Oh, Others it's like a little dinghy bell next to the coffin. Have yeah, yeah, yeah. well, right? no, so it said sometimes it's a church bell, though. Would ring the church bell. But a lot of times, usually it's that little bell that, you know, I've seen it in movies. Others replace the bell with a raisable flag, <laughs> like the, raise the white flag, a powerful firecracker, or a pyrotechnic rocket. I'm, I'm attaching a, a, a pyrotechnic rocket to my grave. Some included a shovel, a ladder, and a supply of food and water. So Good you're luck. digging, you're Good digging luck. up, and then once you dig up, then I guess you need the ladder. But you and gotta dig out the ladder. Most interestingly, an essential element which was overlooked in some designs was a breathing tube to provide air and occasionally even sustenance. You don't wanna be buried alive, just, man. Just check. You don't wanna be buried alive. Check harder before burying people. So this is a, this is a tote you bag. You don't have to do that to that tote this bag. This is a tote bag. And I'm just, there's these little cotton balls right there. Little cotton balls. So that's. You don't see a lot of cats with balls these days. This is, no you don't. You know? Yep, that's good. Yeah, that's good. So, so this is actually, and it has a zipper too. You know, I mean, in the, it, it's to reduce grocery bags. In California, we pay ten cents if you use a grocery bag. Yeah, it's an incentive, and I'm for it because now every time I get out of the car, I think about getting them bags, getting these them tote bags. bags, and it's cool to like express yourself, your love yourself. for cat balls. When you're buying your pudding. All right, Chase, could you come and uh, that's number one. Model the next one for us. Oh sure. Oh, is that totes my goats? Totes my goats. This is a saying that people say when what? They're not cool. When they're totally not cool. Totes. Yeah. It's, totes. But what does it mean, Chase? I think, I think it is. It's like about totally. So it's like oh. That's totes my goats. It's, to, it's, it's another totally, way to say yes, totally. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, if you're a if you're devoid of all coolness, a Andy from the office was a totes my goats guy. You. you know, yeah. for sure. Ed Helms. Character. I think that the goat's face is exhibiting derision with being on this tote bag. He doesn't like the person saying totes my goats. I, or or I like being that. on this bag. I like so that. So I think I that like might redeem it. It's a little bit of an acknowledgement of the so, joke. So this becomes cool again. Well, no. Does it have a zipper? I'm not, no I'm zipper. not wearing it's that. It's thin, it's a very thin tote bag. Something in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, what is this? Chase's Ken doll. It's Ken. Why is oh, he you here? act surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he in here? You know, sometimes you like you forget $5 in a coat. I'm like, I, for, I forget my Ken everywhere. Then he just ran, winds up in random places. Yeah, Jesse got a. Uh, He's praying got some to jeans stay with us. at a thrift store, and there was a hundred dollar bill in in the in the jeans. And then she, she we were gone from the thrift store. She's like, should should I tell them? And I'm like, no, Rhett. 
that person, it's not the, that $100 bill is not from the thrift store, it's from the person who donated the, the things. They, they gifted you the jeans, whatever was in the jeans when they gifted them to the thrift store then is gifted the person. That's just the free flow of goods. Yeah, Listen, true. I run a meat market. I know these things. But you need it. But you I, need to. At a what? thrift store, I got like a, one of those long, kind of like army dusters, and there were used Kleenexes inside there. Those yeah, were mine. And you kept them. <laughs> yeah, see? Okay. Didn't take them back. Right. I'd like to think that, you know, you, 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 she paid it forward somehow. Oh, I don't know what she did with it. I said, baby, spend it on yourself. This one's not. I said, treat yourself. <laughs> treat yourself. Go get you some meat from Red's Meat Market. <laughs> you make her pay? Mm. All right, this go, is go get nice. yourself a hundred dollars worth of meat from Rest of Meat Mark. Oh, I wish I wasn't saying this right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel as I make that joke. Oh, well, I caught myself right in the middle of Do it. Do you sell meat at all? Is it a butcher shop? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We sell meats, we also sell cheeses. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is this is better than wines. This. So, Totes and Goats goes after cats. We sell balls. meats and things that go with meats. All right, let's bring in the next model. Rubs, we've got a lot of whole rub section. Hey Chase guys. again. The rub section is the biggest part of the store. Adulting, adulting, verb. Realizing that one, plastic sucks. Okay, I don't Two, like. Two, washing your own clothes is painful. I don't like a self-righteous, uh, you know, environmental yeah. statement. Plastic, su leave it on. Or just I mean, it. I appreciate the sentiment and I believe in it and I think we should do it, but I don't think that shaming people who don't do it is a great way to get everyone else to do it. Yeah, it's it's, it's looking down your nose. It's right. A, and the other part is, the part that was supposed to be funny is not. Washing your own clothes is painful. That, that could be funnier. Am I going to make it funnier? <laughs> who am I? <laughs> no. But they should have done a better job. If you're going to try to make a joke, it needs to be funny. Uh-oh, there's something in there. I mean, do you agree? Well, I do. Like, there's agree. a lot of adulting jokes that you could have. I here. think that every yeah, joke. I think every joke starts with the person thinking that it's going to be funny. But sometimes you end up saying something like, "Rich meat market, come get a hundred dollars," and you start, and you think it's going to be funny when you start, you and then you find yourself in the corner. middle of a hundred dollar worth of Rhett's meat market joke. Right, right. And you, <laughs> you go, it, oh, no, you back I'm yourself I'm into a market. You make a pirate. So, oh gosh, I want to make this joke. This one's a missed opportunity. What's yeah. in here? Oh, well, I'm confused. Is it a supposed to be a dual handling. purpose? Yeah. Is it supposed to be for, for your clothes? clothes? That's what I was going to ask. It's like a you. laundry bag, but it's too small for it's that. It's so small. What are you going to fit in there? Your delicates. Hmm. And do you keep laundry in plastic bags? Yeah. No. There's not a consistency here. No. I don't understand. I'm confused. I always wish Chase would come back with another bag. This is some nice lotion, though. Oh, there he is. Hey, you're right. <laughs> Wrong side. <laughs> hey, read it. Some people just need a high five in the face with a chair. <laughs> what? This is stay away uh, from me. I'm shopping. What is a high five with a chair? Is it a chair with five legs in your face? Yeah, right. I mean, most chairs. Five legged chair. And most chairs have four legs. This one's got four. Oh, that one's got five. Okay. Yeah, that one's got five. All right, come hit Link in the face with it. Hey, leave me out of this. I don't like this one either. You don't? Okay, well, I guess not. Some people just need a high five. <laughs> we've got five. We got we've got five leg leg stools at Rhett's Meat Market. The thing that you, I like. If you want to watch the butcher rub the meat, you can step right up, pull a stool right up, and watch him rub his meat all day. He's still going. He's still going with it. I. You know the thing I didn't know. <laughs> oh God. I go to the Ralph's Meat Market. I'm sorry. Yeah. I like Ralph's meat better than your meat, and. You can you can choose any wrapped meat and you can give it to the butcher and then they will rub it. They'll slice it too. Wrap and rub. They'll rub the they'll unwrap it. They'll rub it. Rub it, rewrap it, and give it to you. Yeah. I love talking to no the butcher. No additional charge. And I love talking to the butcher. They're very eager to do it. Even if you find something that's in the meat section that is that's what you want, sometimes just talking to the butcher and getting them to do it for you, it's just make you get to know somebody. They're that they want to help people. They're back there. A lot of people are afraid to talk to them. Have you noticed that? I've been afraid to talk. A lot to of people them. are afraid to talk to the butcher at the Ralphs. You talk to your butcher, Chase? No, I'm afraid. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, that's scary. right. It's scary. They they they, they cut carcasses, and they sometimes they do seem a little impatient. Right. If you get a slow time, you can have a long conversation with them though while they're rubbing the meat. The butcher's definitely more intimidating than the people at the deli. 
Stevie, you're a meat person. Do you talk to the butcher? I... The thing is, and I, I'm just admitting this to myself and to others, I am a butcher judger. And a I judger. don't know. I don't well, don't know. go to Red's Meat Market. <laughs> what, judging well, for what? For cutting the, the meat? The knowledge. I don't know what the knowledge base is. Is the knowledge base of a butcher at Ralph's the same as... You know, a, a, a butcher specific place. Once you've seen one Whole meat, you've Foods? seen them all, Stevie. Well, do when, you think? Well, well, do you, well, ask him a couple of questions. You well, also, like, what qualifies a butcher from someone who's just working in the meat market? And what is their knowledge base? Well, it's you more know? than ours. You just, know what I'm just, saying? You know more than Stevie? ours, yes. More than course. the average person. But you don't know what kind of questions I have about meat. Give me one meat question. I run a meat market. <laughs> well, I, I know. Get, they're you... really detailed. Um, I bet you I can answer it. Uh, loin. Yeah. Uh, well, gosh, you stole my first question. Okay, it was just right. loin uh, was the question. <laughs> and what's your answer? What am I going to name my next kid? Loin. Well, if I you were the butcher. Loin McLaughlin. Loin McLaughlin. Loin, loin, loin. And then you would say... How loin? When I asked loin. How's loin? How's loin? Uh-huh. He's so tender. He's so tender-hearted. Ew, I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go a, to your butcher. He's a tender-hearted kid. See, if I asked a butcher a question and that was the answer. Well, ask me a butcher question. What's the white thing you strip off the back of ribs before you? Oh, that's the uh, brisket. Yeah. Uh, it's, if it's they know that. Silver skin, silver skin. If they don't know that. It's a oh, silver skin. oh, you're saying come up with a question that gauges their knowledge base and then Seems ask like that's them what the other question. Judging them about? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, How okay. many ribs in a baby back? How many fingers have you lost? Hmm. It depends on the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Some, that, yeah, if he says it depends on the baby, you're at the right spot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be Ralph himself. <laughs> Only Ralph's got the balls to say that. Yeah, that's right. Hey, this is my place. Man, that's what I tell him at that's my a, meat market. That's, that's what the I only say. one who can say it depends on I'm the I'm like, baby. you only respond with jokes. <laughs> <laughs> All questions to the butcher get it responded to with jokes. Okay. This one is, this one is, uh, oh, what's it got? Angsty. The thing I like about this one is it says, don't talk to me while I'm shopping, which I fully agree with. What? Don't talk to me while I'm shopping. You never. You don't even shop, man. Yeah, but when I do, I wear AirPods. Oh, no. Excedrin Extra Strength. You can't even get out of people's is way. This like a, is well, this I a mystery use, we're I trying to put together? Some of that. <laughs> These are things that I've misplaced. Can you bring back my Ken doll that Chase claimed for himself and that Excedrin, please? This all came from just one right? of Stevie's bring totes. Back to, you. to me. But it. also, that bag does not say well, that. That bag model. says... Big text, I seem like a nice person. Get closer to me, and I will hit you with a chair. Yeah, 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 that's true. And I don't understand that. I guess it's just an aggressive person. It's somebody who wants, who wants, somebody wants trouble. Him. Wants trouble. Yeah. All right, Chase. It's a secret wrestler. Oh, look, this might be a dog mom. Dog mom. Now, is this a big enough for a doggy? I yeah, think it is. Yeah, this is definitely big enough for a doggy. And, well, a, and a dirty doggy. You put a that. dog in there? You could. Yeah, oh, but it's that's not. Big. That's a big thing of hand sanitizer. Good. I could put a dog in there. CV, is this yours? Well, you know what? I have a big bottle of hand sanitizer, and I looked to make sure it wasn't mine. It's not mine. Well, you need Actually. to fill this a big one bottle. Up. I thought you said a big butthole. I have I a, got a big, big butthole. butthole <laughs> uh, I got a big butthole of sanitizer. To, to this conversation. I'll put it right in the bottle. I haven't been sick in four years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A hundred dollars off to Rhett's Meat Market. Oh. Well, look at this. What well, are the not, chances? There's a level of fidelity to this more that I did not anticipate. Man, listen, y'all printed that out so fast. <laughs> wow, I take that home and put it put it on my wife's pillow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can you can have it. Wow. Next time she loses a tooth, she'll find it. <laughs> Anytime. Oh, the more teeth she loses, the more you like it. <laughs> All right. Uh, See you later. <laughs> so, are you the dog yeah. mom? Yeah. Now you like to carry. You have. You have. Yeah, car like, I like, yeah, I like to carry. <laughs> you, I like carry. You keep dog. your dogs in things. You've taken your dogs on planes. You keep your dogs in a thing in the car. 
My dogs are just loose dogs. Yeah, I like this. I could wear this. Dog mom, that's me. It's got a nice flat bottom. It could hold both of my dogs. Mm. Okay, next. And I like it better than, not better than totes from goats, oh, actually. Emotional baggage. Yeah, right. Like it could all fit in here. Ah! That's pretty good. This is the first black bag. We got a black bag with white writing. We've reversed it a little bit. Emotional bag is self-deprecating. Would yeah. you talk to this person? Oh, I like your bag. <laughs> I totally get it, girl. That kind of talk? Tell me about it, sis. Put on some lotion. All right. Way, way to be sis. vulnerable, auntie. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Oh. <laughs> It's just such a nonsensical runner. I don't. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't really no, no. make. They're asking me to laminate this because they don't know how long it's going to be before my wife loses it. Laminate it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I thought it was saran wrap. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm committed to the bit now. I work at a meat market. You got to work with what you got. She's going to hear it under her pillow now. You're not going to have to wait long. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Emotional baggage. Exactly. Yeah, right. It. Night one, she lays her head down and she's like, what is that sound? I'm like, well, maybe you should investigate. Okay, all right, here we go. And it's waterproof. The only one I'm really loving right now is cat balls. The first one. It was bad, it was bad of us to pick the best one for the first it's one. It's three-dimensional. Anatomically correct. Okay. Right. I gotta say, those balls are gonna get dirty, though. They're gonna get real dirty. I think that's how you know when to throw it away. It's like one of those two. Throw it away? No, these are washable. You put these in the in the washing machine. Right, but after a while, when the you're balls gonna, turn gray, well, you and then you're gonna lose one. They probably fall off. You're gonna walk around with a cat with one ball on your bag for how long? A dirty gray ball. How many people do you think get this thing as a gift and they're like, "Well, I kind of want to use it," and they rip off the cotton balls, and then you have a little X that marks the spot. You could, hole. you could put a hole in it and then whatever you buy, you can see. Starts to peek through. It's like one of those envelopes. I have a big butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Get 30% off store wide for our Black Friday sale, including the GMM pajama set. Also, 25% off all monthly degrees, mythicalsociety.com.